According to THR, Michael Shannon has emerged as the front runner for the role of Cable in the David Leach directed Deadpool 2. Though the report cautions that Shannon is not the only one being considered, it goes on to say that he is the one leading the pack at this time. Fox's surprise blockbuster that grossed $783 million worldwide will see the return of Ryan Reynolds as the Merc with the Mouth, with the story expanding to include other characters from Deadpool's corner of Marvel's X-Men universe. Deadpool 2 is now scheduled to shoot this summer in Vancouver, though a release date has not been determined. Jeremy, would you want to see Michael Shannon as Cable in Deadpool 2? That's a really good question. He wouldn't have been my first pick, to be honest with you. The great part is, in about two weeks, we're going to be talking about someone else who's the front runner for <laughs> for uh, Cable in Deadpool 2. So I guess it really doesn't matter, my opinion. But, I mean, Michael Shannon, I think he's a great actor, but he always has that Michael Shannon tone. And so I feel like I'm going to hear Zod, you know, like... Cyclops, I hear you're my father. I think we should talk. You know, like <laughs> it's going to be like that. So I love the guy. He was one of my uh, favorite performances last year in uh, Nocturnal Animals. But uh, I, I wouldn't see him as Cable. He wouldn't have been my first pick. But we'll, we'll see how next week goes. Perry. Yeah, I don't. Uh, this is another instance where I don't really know what to say or think anymore just because it feels like it was just yesterday right. or probably just last week where we were talking about David Harbour taking the role. And basically this report keep saying like, he's the front runner he has scheduling conflicts no one's decided anything they want him they want him at the top of their list who's the front runner uh, uh, no, uh, no. Like, oh. David oh. Harbour was oh, okay. now Michael Shannon runner. is but there's still runner. some other independent movie Michael Shannon's attached to that could kind of ruin this whole thing so I, I don't know I'm having a hard time I can't just picture <laughs> this one person and get excited when I know it's so easy for it to flip and be the other way now right there's so much news that happened you're like ah, I suppose we'll see we'll see next time you're totally right there's a lot of news Michael Shannon is one of my favorite actors working today he is he's not cable I'm sorry it's just mm -hmm. that it's not it's that's not who I see it David Harbour I think would have been great for a lot of different reasons one because of the things that he's been able to do lately that he doesn't have that thing when you look at him like, oh, that's Michael Shannon. It's right. like David Harbour still kind of developing that type of career. And I think that he would I, I think that Cable would benefit from someone just recognizing him as Cable. Michael Shannon does do a lot of the same kind of things in his roles. But there's also he's the things that he he, that he did very well in um, what was the one that he did uh, with uh, Seth Rogen and the night before he was really funny in there. If he can, the, the humor would work, and he, he'd be able to pull the Deadpool, Deadpool stuff off. I'm not worried about that at all. Just the overall look. I think Stephen Lang's a little too old at this point, but he would have been perfect. Um, I, I'm hoping that David Harbour gets it. I really am because I just and Michael Shannon already associated with Zod and everything too. It's you know it's not the same things, and obviously Chris Evans has done it before. But I would like to see them go away from the more known guy and give someone like David Harbour a shot. I don't want David Harbour at all. I actually, that's one, one thing. And I thought he was, he's, he's a very good actor. He is. But I actually hated the, the idea of him being mm. Cable. I don't see it at all. I'm not really on board with Michael Shannon either, but it's never a mistake to add talent. Michael Shannon's a huge, a huge talent. I certainly can see him as Zod more than I could Harbour. And certainly more than, what's the dude from Bloodlines and Friday Night Lights that they were seeing Kyle, Kyle Chandler. Yeah, Kyle, yeah, yeah, I definitely could never see him as, as Cable either. Pierce then again, Brosnan. Pierce Brosnan. Yeah. But then again, a lot of people could never possibly see Heath Ledger as the Joker either, and look how that turned out. I'm still on the Stephen Lang train. I'm yeah. still kind of holding that hope that one of these days um, Ryan Reynolds is going to put out a tweet, surprise everybody, it's slang, yeah. and then we're going to get him. I would love it, but look, if they do end up announcing Michael Shannon, we have no idea if that's going to work out or not. I'll go, okay, they got a hell of an actor to play him. Let's go. Let's let's see how this turns out. Another interesting name to throw in the mix, and you could read about this more on Collider.com in a Schnep. little bit. Is John Schnepp. <laughs> <Ms>. uh, <laughs> I would watch that. Uh -huh. uh, no, Brad Pitt. Apparently, he considered playing Cable, but just ultimately, it, I think he's, I it think didn't he, work out. I think he's a little too old, and I also think that the same thing. You look at Brad Pitt, and you go... Brad Pitt is Brad Pitt. It's not Cable. It takes away from the experience of it. I, I, I don't think Brad Pitt's a good choice.